Oh my God, Andre, I am so over the moon. I can't believe that GM was kind enough to give us early access to the 2024 Silverado Heavy Duty. And I've got so many questions. Yes. I want to know how much it tows. Okay. I want to know what the payload is. I want to see the interior. I want to see the engine. But biggest question I have by far is how quick is it from zero to 60? Really, Roman? Zero to 60? This is a heavy duty truck. <laughs> but you know what? Zero to 60s are fun. Yeah, all right. So let's do that at the end of this video. But okay. first, Let's go uh, just a complete walk around and show them what Chevy has done to the new Duramax heavy duty diesel. Yeah, you know what? I think this could be the benchmark that everybody has to now match uh, Ford and Ram. Uh, should, should we start with the front end? Let's start where we always start, and that is with the front end and under the hood. So yes. show them the styling changes, and then I'll pop the hood and we can look okay. underneath. So this is pretty obvious. So this is a high country top of the line truck because that's what usually manufacturers send to us so they changed the light signature so they created this kind of inverse c or c clamshell mm, that uh, sounds led familiar. <laughs> well you know so ford is going this way gm and chevy is going this way <laughs> yeah why not sure. so then of course they changed you know some of the fog lamp placements show, uh, changed the grill they changed the hood uh, but it's subtle changes roman would you say uh, if you saw this kind of passing by you on a highway, would you really notice it? So we used it as our uh, recovery truck yesterday uh, on our long EV range test. And it was in my rearview mirror the whole time. <laughs> it looked really mean, Andre. I yeah. mean, it's, you know, this is more than a fist in the wind. <laughs> this is a boxing glove in the wind. <laughs> totally. So how about we pop the hood and talk about the power? Living in Colorado is great. My favorite state in the entire nation, but we deal with a ton of rock chips and nicks in the front of our vehicles. Well, that's where Touch Up Direct comes in. This is a great way to get your car looking fresh again. The first thing we're gonna do is clean the surface with the wax and grease remover, and then put on the included rubber gloves. Next up, we're gonna take the pen and prime it, just a couple of dabs, and then we're gonna apply our Touch Up. The great thing about Touch Up Direct is that you get the exact paint you need for your make and model, and they even give you this little test card to make sure it's a perfect match. Now, typically, it'll take two to three coats, allowing 15 minutes to dry in between before applying the clear coat, and same thing, 15 minutes or so, repeat until the finish matches the rest of your vehicle. And lastly, if you did have a larger chip, they also have the option for a scratch and chip putty. And after a few coats, this truck is looking fantastic. Now, of course, people out there are complaining, not truck people, but not, not a lot of non-truck people, that the hoods are getting to be too tall. They are a bit uh, tall. Yeah, and I, I, I kind of tend to agree with them a little bit, especially when you're behind the wheel and off-roading, it's very hard to see over the hood, uh, but there's a lot of radiators under here. So there's a lot of cooling that has to happen to cool off this big Duramax. Yeah, and because that's also because of towing, right? You need that cooling. So this is still a 6.6 .6 liter, as you can see. Uh, they've had this uh, displacement V8 for, what, 22, 3, 23 years. But they've updated some of the internals, uh, dude. So some of the injection systems, uh, injectors, um, turbocharger has been tweaked a little bit. And they got more power, 470 horsepower and 975 pound-feet of torque. But it's not class-leading. Yeah, on it's, paper. It's been quite the war with yeah. heavy duties recently. I also noticed that they kept the functional hood and, of course, the nipple. Yeah. Oh, there was some water in there. Did you see that? Yeah. So the way, of course, this works is if water comes into the functional hood, that's where the water Scoop. goes out. Yep. And you see they redesigned it. They made it a little bit more uh, large and in charge and put this little lip on top of it. So, yeah, that's quite interesting. Now, the other question, of course, I have is with more power and more torque, what are the towing numbers and payload numbers, not only on this truck, but on the new HD? Yeah, so they improved it. Uh, this is a 2500 truck, technically a three quarter ton, right? Traditionally yep. speaking. Um, but let's, let's, let's see it in profile. Um, it's still riding on that long wheelbase that they introduced in 2020. Uh, but this truck uh, is quite capable. They increased the maximum towing capability to 22,500 pounds if you had a work truck. Okay, right? on the 2,500. Uh, yes, on the 2,500. But this is not a work truck. <laughs> uh, this is a full 
luxed out truck and we'll tell you the price at the end, right? Yeah, which is going to be a little bit mind-blowing, I fear. Mind-blowing, but also I would wager, I would, I'll argue with that, with you, with you on that. But uh, this one tows about 19,000 according to the sticker. Okay, well that's, you know, that is... That is uh, what uh, the maximum towing was on these trucks like three generations ago. And now <laughs> for dualies, right? For dualies, and now you've got a single rear wheel 2500 that tows almost 20,000. That's pretty impressive. Now GM has pioneered, of course, these steps, and uh, they're needed because look, you know we're six two, six three, right? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you really need these steps to get it in there. Uh, and then uh, there's of, co of, of course also one in the back here. Yep, in the back. And then you and got the. Uh, tailgate that splits which is now becoming kind of ubiquitous on a lot of uh, GM products yeah and actually this is not like a, a hugely expensive option anymore you know it's just I think a few hundred dollars and it makes it quite easy and you also have a handle here so you open up this handle you can kind of right there and very grab the handle and very easily step in to this truck and let's face it you need that nowadays because like i said these trucks are so tall as mr truck would say too tall uh yeah so this one also has a gooseneck package and a fifth wheel package uh but dude um what gm is doing so this box they call it where the uh, fifth wheel hitch would go is a little bit narrower than some other trucks in the heavy duty segment and the placement of it is a little bit unique so you have to make sure when you're buying your hitches Make sure it fits the GM truck. Unlike uh, maybe a Ford or Ram? Is that yeah, they have different sizes. It wouldn't be nice if like that was standardized. I know, it would be nice. It would make my job easier. Yeah. Because <laughs> we have to tow with these trucks. I know, I know. I know you spent like a half hour yesterday. Just uh, fixing a hitch. Trying to get the, trying to get the hitch. To Oops, actually. I forgot to fold my yeah, handle. That's a problem. How does this work? You pull on it. Pull up. It's like a gun. Gotcha. Oh, well, makes sense. <laughs> it's a truck. So uh, we are going to be towing with this, obviously, uh, and we are going to be towing uh, heavy with it. Uh, yes, so a gooseneck those, trailer. Those videos are all coming. This is just our very first, got our hands on it, first drive. Uh, so uh, why don't you show them the sticker? See, see, and show them the towing mirrors, too, because those are important. Look at all the lights on there. Yeah, lots Extra of lights. Light and then little um, lights to light up whatever you know, you're backing up into. Yep, uh, for trailers and just backing up. Let me just power up the truck and I'll show you how it folds okay. and extends. Yeah. By the way, dude, notice, power step. Yeah, once again, <laughs> you have a truck this tall. Pa power step. <laughs> All right, let's see how those mirrors work. So, of course, once it stops beeping at me, of course you could uh, power fold them, right? Yeah. You could power extend them. So you see, now I have extra reach for towing large camping trailers and I can retract it. I can also adjust, of course, the glass. That never gets old, Andre. No, and lots of lights, right? Like, like you were saying, so I can turn on my lights. Now, one thing that GM keeps doing, which is a little, let me show you, a little confusing to me still is they put these two round knobs right one is for headlights and one is for the four-wheel drive system uh, and it's a little confusing right if it's late at night and you're trying to do one or the other you may get the wrong one yeah so some of the four-wheel drive controls by the way automatic four-wheel drive is still here so all-wheel drive uh, in the heavy-duty truck um, and yes and this is the mode button and this is the light button and I've confused them before yeah and I so. noticed that you've got a heads-up display too oh yeah so uh, cool. it's hard to see right now in the bright sun but I have a lot of information in front of me, like off-road modes, navigation, speed, uh, speed limit signs, all of that is in the front. Hey, can you shut off? I got a question. I, I've noticed this one little outlet here and I've never seen that. What is, uh, what is this for? Look at that. Yeah, so that's um, to warm up your diesel in a very cold climate. Okay. So underneath the seat in the back. Yeah. How much space do we got under the seat? How much room? <sighs> Sorry, it's a little messy as I'm preparing for my uh, eye heavy, gauntlet. heavy eye gauntlet. So this is what I was fixing yesterday. So these little uh, lockers, locker pins were stuck and I had to really uh, lubricate this and get the hitch going. There's a lot of jokes there. I'm, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but, but Roman, this is what I'm talking about, see? Okay, so that, um, that plugs in. Oh, I see, so that's your uh, diesel 
uh, engine block, like a yeah. Uh, yeah engine block heater yeah so you plug it in there so usually what would happen is this would hang out at the bottom of the truck and be and, ugly and be ugly and now they've actually put it in a nice place where you can easily uh, just plug it in I like that Andre that's you know I like thoughtful engineering so plug this in and then plug this into the wall and for all you guys and gals who live up in let's say Fairbanks <laughs> that comes very handy yeah because there's a lot of a lot of our viewers actually live in Fairbanks yeah yeah uh, and then uh, like I said keep in mind Andre is going to Ike this and if you guys have been watching uh, the channel for a while you know that Andre is working his butt off doing an Ike video every Saturday every Saturday so what's coming up uh, this Saturday Andre what do we so, got to look forward to so hmm I, I kind of want to do this. Yeah. Uh, Can you get it there, done? There's also the Chevy Tahoe. Okay. The new RST performance. So we've got, we've so got two coming up. We have two uh, Chevrolets coming up, and then we may have a couple more GMCs or at least one GMC coming up from the pickup truck segment, and then of course Ford, the F-150 Tremor V8. That's still coming. Now I love. We just did a, a, a exhaust note. <laughs> actually hear the turbo spool up. It's pretty Isn't it cool. cool? So let's jump inside. Why don't, yeah, you, oh, why don't you jump in the back and I'll get in the passenger seat and we'll take it for our first drive, right? Yep. Oh, Andre, a much nicer place to spend a work day, but uh, yeah. my first impression is this seat's pretty uh, firm. It is firm. Um, I'm not sure what, why GM is doing this. Let's see if we will be greeted by a wonderful animation. No. <laughs> Well, imagine, guys, this beautiful Rocky Mountain vista being actually, displayed on these actually, two screens. Actually, look over there. There's a, there's a Rocky Mountain <laughs> high country vista. <laughs> we've, got, we've got the real thing. Now, uh, I think this is real wood, Andre. Yes. Here and here, so uh, appropriate for the high country. Uh, I like the real controls. Uh, that's nice. And I love the fact that you have what once upon a time was called three on the tree. Uh, but now it's ten on the tree. <laughs> ah, <laughs> Let's yes. Look at the cameras. Yes, let's, so... Let's do camera. Oh, it, we also have Google. We have Google. And she's talking to us. Yeah, shut her off. So, we have many cameras. Yeah. So, of course, GM's been doing this for a while. And it's back. Um, it's really nice. By the way, this new interior, you know, with the 13.4-inch screen here. And... And the, you know, 12 digital display gauge display in here is only for ltz and high country so the upper levels of the truck the base trucks are um still get the older interior unfortunately mm. for 2024 so you have to spend extra money to get this nice stuff now we should talk about the uh, mirror look at that camera mirror i know that's becoming ubiquitous i actually like that when i first started using that and that was when we had our defender way back when um i kind of didn't like the way that your eyes had to change uh, change focus yeah uh, but now I kind of got used to it and I really like it especially when like there's bad weather uh, and you know the rear windshield or your rear visibility is blocked that camera becomes a godsend yeah and I still have to readjust my eyes a little bit because yeah. I'm I am changing focus Why don't but... you go left here we'll go through the hood yeah and then uh, we'll get to the place where we can show some acceleration are we gonna get to do a zero to 60 yeah. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I was joking, but I guess you've got the solar DL set up, so let's do it. Now, we need to talk about the competition, because there is competition. So, Ram has updated the heavy-duty truck, and Ford has also updated their Super Duty. So, it's kind of an important milestone for it's, Chevy. It's huge. Uh, so, Ram did some minor changes, I would say, for yep. 2023. Like, they have some new style with the new hoods, the new side mirrors, some new technology. They also introduced the rear camera mirror. Right. So shall Ford. We, shall we call it a mild facelift? Yes. Okay. This is a little bit more than a mild facelift to me because they have updated the power. Right. They gave us more horsepower. Uh, what about 25 more horses? And they gave us what 65 more pound feet of torque in this truck in the diesel, um, and changed the style inside and out. So and then Ford is coming in with what they're calling all new Super Duty for 23, which is hitting dealers right now. Uh, and I would agree with them. It's mostly all new. Yeah. Is it like the Mustang where it's mostly all new? Uh, no, it's like more powertrain ish. 
No, it's more all new than the, the Mustang is. is. Okay. <laughs> the Mustang is. So it's highly competitive as always, right, in this segment. So it's going to be an exciting year. Uh, and uh, I'm, I'm going to give away a little bit of our upcoming videos. And that is, I think we're going to hopefully get our hands uh, on one of the two competitors very soon. So you guys, if you stay tuned to TFL Truck, you'll be able to compare this first drive review with one of the other ones that has been updated. I'm not gonna tell you which one, you're gonna have to go to alltfl.com and keep track. Yeah, yeah, just in a few days. In hopefully. a few days, yeah, yeah, if, we, if, we get, yeah. If, if the stars align. So you mentioned the seats are kind of hard, but the suspension I think they did a great job with. So let me accelerate a little bit more on the side road. And I wanna see your impression, Roman, because Oh, I think you got a little bit of wheel hop there going around. Uh, a tiny bit. Yeah. But this truck is approaching the comfort level of this truck. Of, of a full size. Of a, like a half ton, yeah. smaller truck, I, right? I couldn't agree more. Like usually when you get in a HD truck and it's not towing or not hauling, it feels like you're riding in a cabbage cart, right? It, it's really rough. This feels really comfortable, Andre. I, I could see driving around in this without, you know, feeling like I need to, you know, get an appointment with my dentist. <laughs> All right, Andre, this is what I'm sure everybody out there has been waiting for. They don't care about, uh, you know. The style. <laughs> yeah, they want to know how quick it is because this is what heavy duty trucks are all about. So let's Power, do, right? Let's do a quick zero to 60. Let me brake torque it and okay. see if we can spin them. All right, I'm ready to go. Oh, you spun them. <laughs> <laughs> you spun that's, them, Andre. That's not good. That's going to give us a slower time, but yeah. who cares? This is fun. That's not bad, 7.68 at a mile above sea level. Yeah, keep in mind, it is a mile above sea level. So how about this? Let's do one more with all-wheel drive because other heavy-duty tracks only have four-wheel drive modes, yeah. you know, four high, four low. This has four high, four low, but also all-wheel drive. Sure. Why Should we not? try that? Yeah, turn it around. Let's go, let's go back the other way and see how it does. Um, the other thing that I think people are really interested in, Andre, and we will find out is fuel economy, right? Obviously, heavy-duty trucks aren't rated. So is it better than the outgoing model? Is it worse? I mean, more torque, more power usually means more, you know, diesel. Yes, so it's been a cold day. Yeah. It's still 37 degrees. What's but the truck it, say? Um, the truck says, um, I've been, I drove it home and back yeah. about 48 miles, and it's currently saying 15.9 MPG, and that's mixed driving city and highway. So, you know, it's something not, you know, to call your friend about and, and brag about your efficiency, at, at least based on this. Uh, but I think once this truck is broken in a little bit more, I think closer to 20 might be possible. Yeah, like, you know, they say in all the testing people do and in all the commercials, your results may vary, <laughs> which is true. And plus, well, you're buying a diesel. By the way, the Duramax costs $9,500 extra. Yeah. Right? You can get the gas power truck with a 6.6 gas engine. Um, and now the, it's available, the gas engine is available with a 10-speed Allison branded transmission. That hasn't the least changed. You know, every price has gone up in both cars and trucks. But the fact that the diesels carry a give or take ten thousand dollar premium has not changed which is good yeah that's kind of refreshing yeah. um, a little bit of refreshing it is the premium so i would buy a diesel truck if you want first of all that power we just saw but also for towing long distance that's why i would buy a diesel yeah so yesterday we drove almost 300 miles uh and uh this truck was our like i said support truck for the ev range test yeah and this could have done that twice without having to be filled up by yeah uh in fact we still have 180 miles left yeah <laughs> after towing a light trailer you know 300 miles through the mountains yeah yeah so so, so uh, there's a lot this truck is capable of and by the way the 2024 chevy silverado heavy duties configurator is online you can go to their website you can check it out the pricing for a two-door two-wheel drive truck starts at 45 yep 45,000. by the way that's almost three and a half thousand more than last year so that price the base price has come up uh but well we'll talk about the price of this one after i do a zero to 60. all right andre one more let's get quick zero to 60. oh much better launch yeah stronger launch how many gears does this have 10. it's a 10 speed huh Oh, it's about the same. 0.73. <laughs> well, there you go. I By the way, there's uh, three people in here. It shouldn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> With almost a thousand pounds feet of torque? Yeah, it really shouldn't matter. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. You could probably do that pulling a trailer. <laughs> <laughs> and for all you guys who don't 
Uh, no, there is a thing called torque management because it's new modern trucks have so much torque that they basically pull torque so that you don't roast the tires or spin the tires off the wheels, which you could easily do. Uh, so you're not getting all of the beans uh, when you launch it. Although there is controversy always about this, right? Because, you know, Chevy says, oh, we, we give you everything, right? Yep. And Ford says, well, you know, and Ram, you know, they're kind of... There's, there's not a, like a definitive thing, but we do have some gauges that we can put on this truck later um, and actually see, try to ascertain exactly what's happening there. Are they pulling power? Or are they giving us everything? All right, Andre, I've got the Monroney right here. So uh, let me give you the first number and then we'll kind of go up from there. So the truck starts at 71,000. For the crew cab, high country, diesel. No, that, that's, that's the basic. Oh. Basic no truck. diesel. Right, 71,000. Okay. okay. Then you got to add 9490 uh, for the turbo diesel. Like I said, 9500. Okay. Then 3315 for the high country package. The premium one. Yep. Okay. Yep. High country okay. premium package. Okay. okay. Uh, then the power retractable assist steps are 1500. Ooh. The Z71, that's a bargain. Uh, 325. Those are the shocks. Yep. Multi flex tailgate, 260. Roof marker lamps, you pay for those. I love those. 55 bucks. <laughs> $55? Yeah. So total options on this truck, 14,945, but here's the breathtaking number. Yeah. It's not what you're thinking. How yeah. much do you think the destination charge is? Which by the way, should be included because it's getting crazy now. So I was going to say like $1,500, but that's probably an old number. You go. 2,000? Almost $1,895 for the destination charge. Well, Basically, it's a, it's a big is, truck. But still, Andre, yeah. come on. $2,000 to ship this. Where is yeah. this built? It's built. Did I stump you? It's built. I don't remember. <laughs> you stumped me. It should be here on the uh, on the Monroni, shouldn't it? Oh, um, I'm looking for it. Hold on. Final assembly, Oshawa, Ontario, Canada. Oh, near Stephen Elmer. Yeah, is that, by, is that by Brampton? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Steven. So it's Canadian. Okay. Yeah, hey there, okay. <laughs> but but to cross the border, that's at least like $2,000 to cross the border. All right, well, anyway, <laughs> final price, the number you've all been waiting yes. for is $87,840. Um, nope, sorry, uh, it did get a, oh, look, it got a high country discount of 500, so 87,340. So we okay, got, so, they added the package on, but then they subtracted 500 already. Okay, so. Which is a good sign. So just 80, over 88,000. Yeah. So that number is huge. And right now you're probably double mortgaging your house, right? But. Oh, yeah, what's the but? The but is if you look at the Ford F-250 limited edition, you know, with every bell and whistle or a Ram yeah. Cummins limited edition with all the bells and whistles, those are in the 90,000 plus do uh, dollar range. So I've got a different but. Did you know that the average new car price now is almost 50,000? That's huge. Yeah, that's huge. So for, you know, $38,000 more, you get a diesel. You get That will tow four cars. <laughs> so you get 19,000. You get all-wheel drive. Yes. You get room and comfort for a family of five. Yes. Uh, and, of course, you get, you know, a work truck if you need it. Something that is going to make you money. So maybe it's not as breathtaking as I thought, Andre. All right, well, there you have it. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Uh, how was the power? How was my launching capability? And uh, stay tuned for more towing. Yeah, coming up very soon. So go to alttfl.com uh, and we'll see you guys next time. A lot of heavy duty truck content coming very soon to TFL Truck. Thanks to this man. Ciao.